get on the road. This is why we love this lifestyle. Hey, hey, welcome back guys to another vlog, just vanning it. First stop of this big lap is NRM Main Dubbo. We've just pulled in. Sue, what do you got? Sue's already climbing into the wine. Oh, we've got some melted ice. Oh, sherbet. Sure, Happy holiday to me. Still got a couple of things to do. We on the um, 25 bucks for the night. Unpowered, no power, no water. It's busy, it's that time of the year. It's the silly season. So far the park looks schmicko. Just next to us here is the camp kitchen. And as you drive in, which I'll take you up hopefully now or in the morning, we're only here for one night, the swimming pool and the ladies in the reception were so welcoming. So we're at site number 112. As you can see, just parked up Utes over here. It is just gone 6.30. It's a big day's drive. Um, not sure what the plan is tomorrow. We'll move on tomorrow. We've got to get across that Victoria border because um, COVID in New South Wales. So we actually came through Toowoomba down through to Dubbo and then we'll come out to the top of Victoria um, tomorrow somewhere. Not sure, I think tomorrow is about a 580k drive, but let's not worry about that until tomorrow. Let's grab a cold beer and let's not waste time and get dinner on the go happy while there's still. Woo! Happy holiday! Woo. Susa officially on a bit of leave over the Christmas period. We haven't got anything planned for Christy guys. We're um yeah, we're on the road, so we didn't bother doing anything for Christmas, I'm afraid. Sophie's there, Sophie had a good day in the car. She loves to be in the car. So um, we're gonna quickly unpack and get that fridge, fridge on the gas and tuck into a few beers and get dinner on the go. Bloody fridge, I should have got this checked. The igniter doesn't ignite properly, so Sue has to push the bloody button inside. I've got to ignite it. All right. There she goes. I'll have to get that looked at when we're at a bigger, bigger town, but it's not too bad. Can up, blah? Yeah. Let's have a look here, guys. Yep, the green is going up. There you go. Done, fridge is on. Small little hiccup. Hopefully we get it fixed. Cooking dinner. Look at this. Uh, leftover mince, a bit of chopped up bacon, and cooking on our, our budget addition to the caravan is a pull out table from BCF, $4.99 on special. Because, guys, honestly, the weather is just so good. It's not a breath of wind, 26 degrees, and um, I don't know, we're gonna toss this up in a wrap. I'm cooking dinner, keeps you happy, happy wife, happy life, they say. And, um, oh, not to forget. Cold beer in hand, sun's going down. Guys, honestly, bloody great. But um, yeah, park's looking great. Everyone's in the festive season. So you just swing around and show them. Great park, there's a fire pit in the back corner there. We, we actually parked up in the corner, which is great. Um, put a few lyrics on the speaker in a minute. Have another beer, but I don't think it's gonna be a late night tonight. We've already sort of sorted out our camping for tomorrow. And uh, we can't wait to show you that, but I'm going to carry on cooking this and get it up in a wrap. Jeez, guys. I'll just stop for a brief second just to take this in. Look at the sunset here in Dubbo tonight. Wow. Hey, the sky has turned it on for us here. And this is why we put this kitchen outside because I love to cook. Look at that outside. Well, supper's almost ready. Sipping a last beer. We've got the time wrong. It's like half past eight here in New South Wales, eh? Yes, that's 25 minutes past eight. 25 minutes past eight and the sun's still out. Well, it's only 25 past seven in Brisbane, but anyway, we got the dinner done. We're pretty tired after today's um, drive. I'm going to take the food inside, whip up those wraps, go out, have a shower with the ablutions. I'll let you know what the ablutions are like here. But um, yeah, let's get this dinner 
tummy's grumbling. Well, final product we got. So he's warmed the wraps up. So what I did is I broke two eggs over that. Throw that on a wrap with a bit of mayo, but it's bit of tomato sauce, bit of cheese. Sue so will have a bit of green shit. I don't eat the green stuff, so yeah. And then, what is the time again? It's like nearly nine o'clock. It's like nearly nine o'clock, hey? It doesn't go down here. So we'll eat and we'll go up, have a shower, climb into bed. We're super excited about tomorrow's camp if we can get in because it's a free camp. So hopefully there's a spot for us alongside the river. But um, I'm going to climb into my food and then go and grab a shower. What do you call this? Oh. Uh, I am in bed now. What do we do today? 13 and a half hour drive? Yeah, 13 and a half hours, but we did stop for lunch, so. Yeah, big day. So, yeah, my legs hurt, my back hurts. So, in bed. And um, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Wow. I feel on top of the world today after that sleep. Yes, it was a big day. I tell you, the amenities at this park are absolutely spotless. I'm a sucker for a good shower and that shower was great. So what's left? Sue's already started to pack up. We're going to start heading towards the Victorian border. I don't want to do a big day like we did yesterday. Yesterday was well, like 800 and something k's. Today I think we're only going to look at doing maybe 400, half of that distance. And um, brush my teeth, teach the van. Don't know where Sue is. Oh, Sue's outside. Sophie's already ready to get in the car. Let's wrap this up. Morning. Oh. The first thing the Harworth does is... You've got to make sure the beer fridge is full of beer or not. I cannot believe that is the first thing you do in the morning. Yes. It's a good way to start the day. Make sure your evening is, is properly sorted. Just spanning it hot tip of the week. Never pass a dump point without using it. And Derek has the honours. One of his favourite jobs on the road. Someone's got to do it, eh? So guys, as we're leaving, you can see the jump in pillow for the kids. And just next to that, looks like a quite a nice jungle gym. And uh, now I've got to figure out how to get out of here. And then we'll show you in a minute, hopefully, the pool. So as you're leaving, guys, this is the um, office. And just next to the office up the front is the swimming pool. And it's a fairly big pool. Half of it's shaded. The other half is not shaded. But... Super excited to get back on the road. How many k's we got today? Don't know. What do we got? 391 k's to go. Tonight I leave familiar for the great unknown. Got a couple broken arrows and my hair is grown since you saw me last talking on an old flip phone. Share the skin of who I used to be. So guys, best part of having your home on wheels is you pull up to a rest stop like this and um, yeah, whip out the table out the back, which is a new addition to our trip this year, and an inverter and see what you got. Nespresso coffee. There you go, look at that, five bucks saved. Sue was like, oh, let's stop for a coffee. Well, I was like, oh, that's another five bucks and we spent all the money. Doing all the additions, add-ons to the ute this, this trip, and yeah, there to go. It serves its purpose. We're just going to stretch our legs, get Sophie out for a little piddle, and um, yeah, knock out some more k's. And um, I don't really drink coffee, like I've said before, but I might just do myself a coffee. And um, yeah, let's get back on it.
We've just arrived at the camp spot for the night and I have to say I was expecting it to be really busy but it seems pretty quiet. There's only one other van here. Um, it's a free camp along the river. There are ablutions, drop toilet and a sink with a running tap. Um, but guys, look at this. And it's free on the river. I can't believe it. So looking forward to um, spending the night here. We've pretty much got the place to ourselves, which is really awesome. And um, Mr. Howarth is pretty excited. He's um, already unhooking. Look at this, guys, eh? This is why we love this lifestyle. Look at this. We'd be parked up in a town today. This morning we left to come here. Honestly thought it would be jam-packed. Steep, steep road in. But we come down here and there's one other bloke and he's over there by the boat ramp. And we've got this whole place to ourselves. So, enough drivel. Let's get it unhitched and let's get a level. Let's grab a beer. Well guys, still can't believe we're the only ones here, but a little snack platter going on over there. I don't know where more Sue's gone. I think she's gone to the toilet. Check out the toilet. Oh my goodness. Look at what she's doing. You're an absolute wally, you know that. Okay. Leave it there, I'll come and get it. We got a lot of little fire, I reckon. Christmas Eve. Get a little bit of uh, atmosphere going. I did chop up some wood there, I don't know why. Are you a while or what? Uh, yeah, let's all. Let me chop it up quick. Get the fire going, because what's the time? Half past six. It's half past six already, look at the light. I don't understand that. New South Wales, I think it only gets dark at like nine o'clock here. Daylight savings or whatever they call it. All right. Here we go. I'll let, let me chop that wood. Here we go. They're going to chop all of it, love, huh? Wow, it's hard. Hey, one more? Let's do one more. Guys, another thing that saves you money, that would have been $20 at the servo. Still, get into it. Fire's going, we're going to get the pizza, we're going to get the Weber out, get the pizza going. But, I thought I'll just take this minute and show you a different aspect of where we're at. Some years ain't got much to show. Spend most of my matches back against the ropes. And there's a crowd looking on. What do you wanna see? Been throwing fights my whole life for the right fee. Again, guys using our new addition. Look at that. I reckon we drop the legs. Just to support it, because we get the Weber out in a minute. And we're gonna do pizzas. And let's Sue show you our view from our, our kitchen. How good is that? Yeah, guys, look at that. Yes, look at that, eh? Guys, you can't be in a better place now, I reckon. We're not with family, but I tell you what, this will have to do, and it's not a bad spot. Just got to hook up the gas barbecue, get the gas stove out, and we're going to start making our pizzas. It's already 8 o'clock, funny enough. And don't forget, we got ourselves a beer. Wow. What do you think, love? Amazing. Great, eh? 
So guys, tonight, we're trying a different type of pizza. Usually we use all the leftovers, but I said to Sue today on the car, let's have pizzas tonight. And she's like, yeah, but we don't have this. So I said, oh, let's try meatballs on a pizza with some ham and some cheese. Sue will have some green shit and um, that's what we do. So we're gonna fry up these little meatballs. I'm not gonna do all of them because we're gonna cut them in half and then we're gonna put them on. And I reckon we use the rest for breakfast in the morning. So we're gonna do half the pack. And um, that's frying up. What we'll do is, we're we gonna throw a bit of sauce for that, love. No, just like that. Just like that, eh? Yeah. And then um, we'll go inside, make our pizzas, we'll get the Weber on, get the Weber hot, and we'll stick the pizzas in there and we're gonna have feed because I don't know how we're gonna go to sleep. The sun's still up. So I'm gonna tuck into a few more, a few more cans and um, just enjoy the, this type of lifestyle, guys. It's really, really, it's not gone sad enough, but it's really good. The wind's died off. The flies seem to be hanging around a bit, but I reckon by the time the sun goes down, the flies will be gone. And um, yeah. Christmas, in a Christmas spirit. But guys, come around here. Let's grab a beer. And just over there, there's about five kangaroos, so I don't want to disturb them. I um, jumped out, grabbed this camera with my big two animal lens, and um, I got them just feeding from, from here. But um, I don't know, something must have spooked them. They've, they've gone back off, but yeah, it's pretty cool being in the wild, I reckon. Fun times. Hey, how good is that? Yep. Anyway, meatballs are done. Sue had to take over. I was busy with the kangaroos. Meatballs are done. We're going to get the pizzas in. Come on, dear. Let's get it done. Oh, what we got here? Meatball pizza. Look at that, guys. Looks bloody great. Hey, Chrissy Eve. And a and, meatball pizza. And a meatball pizza and a campsite pretty much to ourselves. So, guys, we're going to tuck into that, call it a night, get into bed. There's bed, bed's ready. And we'll catch you in the morning. See ya. Good morning from Just Fanning It. It's Christmas morning and we've woken up at our free camp and it's a beautiful day. So having a look at the morning views, not too bad. Already had a cup of coffee, in fact had two and um, starting to pack up for the move. And Mr. Howarth is busy at the back of his truck. Oh. What's going on? It's the pack up now. There's a bit of evidence of the uh, headaches this morning. The beers last night. Oh, feel good. And we've got to get the Weber packed up, stove packed up. Let's get this packed up. Let's wrap this up. And we're going to take you along to one more free camp on this, on, on, on this video. We're not sure exactly where we're going to have to just... We've got to cross the Victorian border today with uh, COVID and all that, but we've done the right thing. We've come, we haven't gone through Sydney. We've come around the back. Um, so we've stayed out of the hot spots. So hopefully we can get across the Victorian border today. And then we're going to camp uh, along another river, hopefully. But um, let's wrap this up and let's get on the road. Well, guys, here we are. Last stop of this video. And yes, we've managed to get into our spot we've always wanted to come to, eh? We, we actually spent five weeks up here in isolation. We've always said, oh, we'd love to come back. But here we are, Murray River, Victoria. And look at that view for us today. Absolutely great. Not too many people around. There's someone across the water and we parked up ourselves, which we can't wait. Many hours walking this area. Hey baby, you remember that, Sophie? Say hello to everyone. And um, oh yeah, got a couple of people on the jet skis up and down enjoying Chrissy Day. And um, yep, table's out again, Weber's on it. And we're gonna do Christmas lunch. We got a, what do we got, love? Lamb roast. We got a lamb roast today, so yeah. And then just sit back, light a fire a bit later again, have a few cans and enjoy Christmas Day. So, Christmas day, evening, really, hey? 
Look at this, guys. Fire again. And the best of it is parked up on the Murray River, just outside Cobram. So, guys, we're at uh, Dead End. Was it Dead End Beach, eh? Dead End Beach. Dead End Beach, part of the Murray. There's plenty of free camping up on the Murray. And I'll tell you, we were here about seven months ago. We we're actually just chatting about it. And um, this road coming in here was pretty bad. Like you needed a proper four wheel drive. But since then they've graded it and yeah, it's great. We've got our caravan in just over here. I'll show you. Oh, oh, oh. Just got it in over there, leveled up for the night. And um, yeah. I really suggest come down or come up to the Murray because spot on end just back over there about 500 meters is a toilet so we unhitched the van and um, if we really need to go to the toilet we can take a drive to the toilet which is great but oh guys look at this eh? full free look at this and the weather is spot on as well not a breath of wind I tell you the flowers are bad though but let me show you here quickly so we Traveling the last few days, we didn't really set up Christmas properly, but we decided, look at this. Oops, let me try to get around. There you go, potatoes are coming in. And the weather is doing the job. Lamb, potatoes, veg for dinner tonight. And it is what, quarter to seven and the sun's still out. So it's bloody great. But a few cold berries going as well. And um, yeah. What I'll do when these birds settle down a bit because there's a lot of birds in the sky, so I'll put this down and wait a few minutes and uh, we'll pop the drone up and give you a little um, different view of this camp and see how good it is for yourselves. Wow. Christmas, Christmas night, and it's a beautiful evening out on the Maria River. I really think Derek's been missing this just epic there are hundreds of birds in the background I just think he's been missing being on the road once the lifestyle bites it's a bit difficult to um, to do anything else guys I've missed this look at this the day has absolutely been spot on the no wind nothing but I can't fly the drone because I'm pretty nervous to fly the drone around all these birds here to give you another view of where we are. But it also doesn't matter where we are as long as you can just get out and camp wherever the closest camping spot you got near your place. So this is just absolutely incredible. What's the time? It's like half past eight and the sun's still up. I keep saying it, but sky's turning it on. It's just beautiful. Supper's done. We've got the fire going over here. Look at this, beautiful fire going down. Eh? But guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. We're back on the road. We've got exciting stuff coming up. We're heading from here tomorrow towards the Great Ocean Road. Hopefully it's not too busy, so I don't wanna guarantee that the next video is gonna be the Great Ocean Road. But I reckon if we uh, really wanna do it, we'll find a spot on the Great, Great Ocean Road to do some uh, videos on the Great Ocean Road. So thank you very much for watching this video if you got this far. I really appreciate the support. Drop any comments in below. Let us know what you want us to do. We're going to South Australia next if COVID can just keep under control. But um, yeah guys, I hope you had a great Christmas. And I think by the time you've seen this video, New Year's would have come and gone as well. So all the best for 2021. From Just Vanning It, we'll see you next week. See ya.